Yo, 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 what up? It's Nick here, your boy, coming to you from the Bicycle Daily, my daily paper that I put out on this interweb. Anyways, it's actually also on my other channel, uh, Living Rich. Anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone debate. And here's what's up. So, Tony Robbins is a very, you know, he's a little more woo-woo than Grant Cardone is. Um, at least in his personal appearance that he projects to the world. And he says that uh, you got you got to find something you're passionate about. And to, to work to be successful. And Grant Cardone, on the other hand, he's like, you got to follow the money, money, money. Um, so the the difference between the two is that Grant is like, passion, fuck passion, follow the money. And he's passionate about the money. And I might have given a little bit away there, but... Let's kind of dissect this and go into it a little deeper. Because, like, I've listened to both of them. They're both pretty dope, and, I, and they both have valid points. And I think um, they're also speaking to a different... Each of them are speaking to a slightly different audience. So, Grant Cardone is speaking to an audience of people who I feel like don't have their shit together as much. And they don't have that work ethic down. They don't have uh, a funnel to make much cash at all down. I know these are, there are some glaring exceptions to this, especially uh, from the fact that he can run, you know, seminars that he charges ten grand for or whatever. But he's definitely not known as um, well. Okay, I take that back. He's he's known as a sales trainer for some pretty big companies but specifically as a sales trainer and I think he's trying to rebrand more like the Tony thing and he's taking a lot of sales advice from the Tony thing um, and if you, for all of you who don't know Tony Robbins he's like the big rah rah whoa, guy who gets up in front of the stage and does some you know like hypes the crowd up for a little bit and then but he's also He's also has some very solid information um, behind all the rah-rah. So, for me at least, I think the rah-rah kind of turns me off a little bit or it makes it, almost invalidates the message. Uh, but I would say get past that and listen to what he's actually saying and evaluate that instead of being like, oh, I don't like the Tony Tony vibe now. Fuck the Tony vibe. Uh, but anyways, Grant Cardone, audience is different, a lot younger, a lot less established, and a lot more millennials, I feel like, are his audience, where Tony Robbins is the generation before whatever that is. I don't really know what it is. I don't even, it's not boomers. It's one in between boomers and millennials. Um, but he has the Tony has the audience of people who already have some money and are looking to kind of take their life in general up to another level and he has a different task like a lot of the people he co coaches already have a bunch of money and they're looking for that satisfaction in life or Grant Cardone he coaches people that don't have any money and that's their main problem they need to get the money so they can be unsatisfied with the money and then you know he'll send them off to tony or maybe he'll create another product in order to uh break it down but the difference in their audience makes their message about the passion the work passion thing differ a little so 
Grant Cardone says, follow the money. And then Tony Robbins says, follow your passion. So if you look at these from their respective audiences that they're talking to, Tony's audience already has the money. They're looking for the satisfaction. And so this, there is something that lights them up uh, is going to be needed to do. And they already have that work ethic. They've established themselves. They know how to get the money. Uh, Grant Cardone is teaching people how to get the money. And so he's like, follow the money if you want to get the money. Uh, it's as simple as that. Now, to dissect it a little bit further, um, and to kind of put my own interpretation on this, it goes something like this. You, a person, a person goes about their life, um, and their schedule's full. And Tony's right in a way because your in order to create a business or like super success or whatever, um, and by all means, I still work in a restaurant, so <laughs> whatever that says to you about this advice, take that into note. You know, you always got to look at what the person giving the advice is saying. Um, but the the fact that um, in order to succeed, you have to be willing to, you know, work your day job, probably long hours in order to maintain a decent quality of life, get home, and then focus on a, a task that's not watching Netflix and being entertained. Um, and you have to put that time in. And it's got to be something that, you know, gives you some sort of satisfaction, like Tony says, some sort of... Um, light light that lights you up on the inside some passion and gives you that wholeness in your world um but also grant cardone's not wrong either because you do have to follow the money in order to be successful you got to get the money from somewhere in order to get the goods and services that you need from somewhere else and what your so to resolve the, the two differences I kind of already did but what you're going to be doing the majority of your day in your life is going to be work so the choice of that is very crucial in aligning your life with being happy but if you're at a point where you're just starting where grant cardone is talking to you then it's like you, you gotta get some money dude you know you, you gotta go work at a restaurant or you gotta go fuck maybe even flip burgers if you don't have the balls to go like dress nice and talk to people you know they'll give almost anyone a job at a restaurant you know, if you can just talk, literally, that's all I do. I go to the restaurant and I'm just like, I want a job. Talk to the manager, shoot the shit for a little bit. So that's a skill that took me about 10 years to develop. And now, you know, and, and really everyone should have this. This should be like an easy thing. Uh, but yeah. So, to wrap this all up, this is late. Uh, it's about 1.30 right now. Let me check the time. 1.30. Um, and, uh, no, actually, no, it's 2, 1.54. Uh, I got got off a double with getting, you know, not that much sleep last night. 
Actually, wait, how much sleep did I get? Uh, I got, I got okay sleep. I got decent sleep. So I'm able to do this. I'm able to get in here and do, do the dugga dugga dugga. Um, but you know, it's, I didn't have much time to do anything else. I was at work all day, you know, from the time I woke up basically till now, I had like a little break, got a little workout in. Um, and now, right now, I'm, I wrote a blog post on the bicycle daily, which is dot com, which is my um, my um, bike website, uh, where I post a bunch of kind of like similar thoughtful stuff like this, just thoughts of the day, perceptions, whatever you know. And um, now I'm gonna practice coding for a little bit because like it's kind of fun. And I'm going to write a sales ad afterwards. Those two aren't going to take too, too long, but like it's still like a thing that I'm doing. Um, you know, this video also takes time, and then I got to get up. I'm, I'm getting up in the morning at 6 o'clock to go to yoga class, so I'll feel good the rest of the day because uh, I'm working on an 11 o'clock or no, 10 o'clock shift to 3 a.m and it's just busy you know there's there's stuff going on you gotta gotta do what you gotta do and do your best to stay healthy and like zend out during the whole thing <laughs> anyways i digress um the point was was that grant cardone tony robbins they they're they're not saying opposite things and Gary Vaynerchuk's kind of like in the middle. He's like, he's like, just hustle, 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 do the passion, hustle, 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 do the passion, hustle, hustle. And uh, he's he's almost like an amalgamation of both. It's really funny. All right, my sweet potatoes are boiling. Gotta go. Peace.